In my opinion, cover crops are the most efficient way to improve your soil health. It's gonna give you the most uh, bang for your buck uh, alongside with, with compost. But the cover crops do everything that we want for the soil. It introduces organic matter, it protects the soil from climate events, and it enhances the biology in the soil. So if I would have to pick one single thing that I would tell farmers to do would be cover crops. It's, it's probably the most beneficial thing you can do for your soil. Any portion of the soil that is naked, first of all, it's exposed, it's vulnerable, but also it's a missed opportunity because the only way that you can introduce organic matter is through living roots, through photosynthesis, or by applying compost. By introducing cover crops, you would be reintroducing organic matter, and that organic matter comes from the atmosphere in the form of CO2. So when it comes to talking about climate change, any pieces of land that are depleted of any vegetation are a missed opportunity. It tends to take a while to, to create an environment where the cover crops really thrive, but by growing them, they do better the next year and all your crops do better. The benefits of cover crops are numerous. Um, I use the ones that have legumes, so they add nitrogen to the ground, reduces the amount of fertilizers I need to put, and increases the organic matter, which is basically carbon sequestration. I view it, the soil is like a bank. Anytime you get a chance to deposit some form of nitrogen into the bank, you do it. And the microbes eat that organic nitrogen up and they convert it into the form that plants can use it. But they do that slowly over time. So I'm always trying to make deposits into the soil of nitrogen through cover crops. Um, that's why I use legumes. Right away, we just noticed when we started cover cropping how exciting it would be to walk out into a cover crop and see, for one, the different species of plants and then starting to see different pollinators and insects, the changes in the soil, just so many different things happening. If we don't have cover crop, we have weeds that grow. So um, that's one thing we noticed very early in, in uh, our cover crop journey is that we also can use cover cropping as, as a weed control tool. We started to see less problems with like mite insect pressure um, because we had habitat for beneficials um, longer into the season so we started doing a little bit less spraying it also keeps rainfall uniform across our fields instead of having water and soil run off of our field in the winter time it keeps all that water on the field where we want it uh, i've seen better water infiltration root penetration ground penetration we've had better weed control we've had less ground cracking um, so we've seen some pretty good success there are some guidelines on on cover cropping uh, when it comes to choosing plants and uh, there's a lot of agronomy research done on like the synergistic responses between multi-species plantings. So if you're looking for the agronomic benefits, uh, you know, they say up to seven species and they kind of have a, a list of the ways to mix it, but it depends on what you're looking for. You know, all these plants are taking carbon out of the atmosphere, uh, CO2, and putting it into their structure. Half of it's probably underground. And so anytime you do that, you're bringing carbon from this gaseous source down to a solid source here on our plants. And so when you can work that plant back into the field, into the ground, you're adding carbon to the soil. And the roots especially add carbon to the soil. This year I'm planting cover crops only in the furrow, as you can see behind me here, where I'm trying to get in there and work this cover crop into the ground, get the benefit of all that organic matter, but still meet my contracted planting schedule for my tomatoes. We all have to do our part. We, we know that Agriculture is not perfect. We have our problems. We contribute some to the climate change, you know, because of the way we operate. So we should all be looking for ways to improve where we can add carbon to the soil, use less water. Everybody has to look at their farm differently and see what they can possibly do to work in that direction. And we need to do our share to keep things better for the future.